Healthcare workers make the difference to ensure that people can obtain high quality essential healthcare services when needed. And yet, around the world, there is a global deficit in the number and quality of healthcare workers. A new global strategy for human resources for health, applicable to low, middle and high income countries, is now underway to ensure that all people obtain access to a healthcare worker. Strengthening national health systems is a priority. International rapid response capacities must be improved. In that regard, I support the efforts of the World Health Organization, led by Dr. Margaret Chen, to begin work on the way forward. Human resources for health need to be built up to support universal health coverage, but also to give countries resilience against future shocks, whether coming from a changing climate or a deadly virus. If we're going to create resilient health systems, we have to move away from just focusing on commodities, abstract interventions. We have to remember that health is about people. It's about protecting our populations and creating a workforce that serves those populations. So let's think about how we build a people-centered health system. Health workers and populations working together for a better future. The world will soon embark on a post-2015 development agenda with health-related goals requiring a strong health workforce. Hopefully we can have a new narrative, we can have a new storyline of what human resources and what healthcare professionals working with communities and community workers can do to better serve the needs of the community and achieve outcomes, healthcare outcomes, much faster than we have achieved in the last 10, 20 years. I am using this opportunity to call on all humanitarian actors and domestic actors to put health workers at the core of the planning to help address health workers issues and help strengthen the healthcare delivery system. For WHO, I can think of no more important strategy for protecting the health of populations, peoples, nation states than an investment plan for health workers. Investing in health workers guarantees a return on investment for the population in each and every country. I challenge you to use these evidence-based lessons, but also to come up with innovative and inspirational proposals. As we develop a global strategy on human resources for health, we encourage all member states to actively participate and ensure that we have a vision where everyone has access to a healthcare worker, whether rich or poor.